Hey there folks, this is Dice Kimura. I'm a Miami guitar teacher and I want to talk to you today about some of the amazing ways that technology has changed the way I teach guitar and in 2016. Um, I just want to go ahead and start showing you uh, some things that I've seen, okay? Um, so let's say you go to play a song and right now I'm just sharing my screen with you as I record. Um, let's say we go into YouTube and I want to go learn to play a song like for instance I want to play Just Got Paid by ZZ Top, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and watch it. All right, so this lick. This is one, actually, I do teach this song in my classes, but let's say I want to learn this song, okay? Now, I can also look it up and learn. Who else is playing this song? I'm noticing that Joe Bonamassa does it, okay? I'm just searching it on YouTube. And let's let it render. It's taking a minute. So let's just hold that in the queue. Now, traditionally, if I wanted to learn that, I would I would put the name of the song, Just Got Paid, to your Guitar Tab. Mm -hmm. I'd put that into Google. And something like this would come up from Ultimate Guitar. And this is nice and it's free. Everything I'm going to, most of the things I'm going to show you today are free. Okay. So here's the tab. Okay. So it says from five to seven. <laughs> I'm not going to teach how to read tabs today. Uh, I might teach that in a future video. But for right now, I'm just, just observing how to use some technology. Okay? So I pull it up in the Guitar Pro. Uh, I'm sorry, in the songs, in the uh, ultimateguitar.com. And this really doesn't give me the groove or the cadence. I'm listening to the song to get the groove. And then I could read the tab. And for a long time, you know, since 2002 to 2000. 14 and a half I'd say that's all you had lately we've had this new new cloud-based technology called songster and this is really cool now this is really similar I'm gonna go to songster with two R's you see that songster.com with two R's and I'm gonna put in just got paid and the ZZ the Joe Bonamassa comes up in the ZZ top and Joe Bonamassa some other version comes up. Let's just go with this Joe Bonamassa. And here we go. Let it render. It takes a minute. This is great. This is cloud based software. It's better than Guitar Pro. And for the longest time, I've been using Guitar Pro since it ever first came out uh, around 2004. And um, I've been very loyal to them. And the cool thing about Guitar Pro is you could play the actual tab. Well, well, you had to buy the software, and or you could either do the download, or they could ship it to your house, and then you could have the backup with the key, and they would give you the software key and your password and everything. Um, but if you wipe your computer clean, it may not always work again. I had a few instances I had to buy it again from them over the years. Um, but what I like about Songster is you just log in, and you can play it. I'm going to hit this blue button. Alright, that's really cool. Listen, I grew up playing guitar in the 80s, and we just did not have this stuff. Forget about it. Um, watch this. Okay, let's say I want to learn this riff. And let's say, I, now I'm now going into, stay with me folks, I'm going up here into this section where at the top of the screen I hit the gray bar 
and it's going to allow me to tweak all the levels of all the instruments. So overdriven guitar JB GIT, that's Joe Bonamassa. See here, I can put him at 100%. Here's his vocals. I really don't need a lot of that. I can put lots of bass, 87% drums. I can put that 100%. There's a few other uh, effects it says in here, but I'm going to go with that. I X out of it, and then I play it. That's the new mix that I just put in. Let's say I don't want the other instruments, so I'm just going to play just the guitar line. Here we go. Let's say that's a little too fast. Now, let this this is free if you use it just as is without even doing this, um, the adjusting the volume or soloing out anything. Okay, but if I pay like I don't know twelve or thirteen bucks a month, whatever it is, it'll let me tweak it. And if you pay, it'll it'll let you um, solo things out, mute things out, change the volume. It'll also let you go here and print which I won't do, but you can choose how many bars you want to print and how many pages, etc. Um, it can also let you, let's see if that will let me X out. Okay. And it'll also let you email it to people. See this little button goes. Oh, never mind. That was full screen. Okay. So let's just stay in full screen for now. Um, so this. <laughs> Okay, you can hit the space bar and that's going to stop the track, okay? Let's say I go into here and I change the speed. I go to 75%. That's cool. Let's say I'm here and I want to loop that. And I click this snake looking thing and I loop it. Let's say every time I loop it, I want to start in with a count. I hit this three number. You hear it? Hey. Hey. Okay. It can be pretty annoying if that's all you're doing is looping it. But I use this to teach people all the time. I teach people how to loop things, slow them down, isolate the guitar tracks. Um, this works for guitar solos. It works for everything. Let's see if I can find a more intricate song. Okay. Um, for instance, let's go with something famous like Stairway to Heaven. Notice all of these options populate here. And all these different people did Stairway to Heaven or songs similar to Stairway to Heaven. So it comes up. Okay. Now, I suggest when you're learning to play guitar, I suggest you learn with songs that are really famous that everybody knows. And I've noticed there's like a contrarian attitude in some people where they really don't want to do the super mainstream thing because they feel like they're selling out. Uh, they would rather do the rare, obscure, indie rock thing which is totally cool. I totally support that. It's just that as a guitar teacher, you're going to find the most free media that's accurate online from really famous stuff. Okay. And the reason why is simply because um, there are, for instance, this is a Led Zeppelin song. There are Led Zeppelin enthusiasts that really take a lot of painstaking time in making the tab absolutely immaculately perfect. And you may not find that level of attention to detail to just anything or anyone. Okay. So here's Stairway to Heaven. Let me just check this. Okay. So this is, everything is on. If it's off, you'll see it lit up in green, but it's not. I can hit the, I can hit the cursor key to scroll quickly. Okay. Um, and it can do some pretty intricate stuff here. Let's take a look. Let's do the lead by J page. That's obviously Jimmy page. And you scroll down to that part of the section. Here we go. That now you may say you can't hear it clear enough. Okay. So what if I just solo that? Da, 
that's the lead. Now let's say you want that and you want some context. So I'll give you some drums, some bass, and we'll throw in um, a little bit of rhythm guitar and we'll just turn the volume down. <laughs> See how that works? Okay. Let's say you're just struggling with those first couple lines, and we're just going to slow it down for you. Well, actually, before I slow it down, you notice you can slow it down. You can also speed it up if you want to get crazy, but most people don't want to do that. Anyway, let's say we're going to loop it. You're going to loop it. You're going to hold down the uh, shift key, and then you hit the cursor button, and that lets you add bars to your loop, okay? <laughs> Now it comes back in kind of abrupt on the loop. So if you want to add that three counter thing, here we go. Three, four, and you get the idea. Now, if I want to slow it down from here, let's say I can go all the way to, let's say, 50. Now, if I do 50%, it grays out because it takes a second to render. And this is actually a pretty big song um, with a lot of files. So it might take, like, a long time to render. I've seen it take, like, a full minute before. So I don't know if I have the patience to wait for that. Matter of fact, I don't have the patience. Let me just try like 75%. Okay, 75% was ready to go. Didn't have to take any time. Two, three, four, and. So the advantage is this system of learning is so much better than just getting the book or the tab because it forces you to play with the song. You can slow the music down and you can isolate it as slow as you want to make it so that you can play with the song. And once you learn all the notes and all the cadence and the rhythms, you can just very slowly and incrementally speed this up. See, watch, I'll go to about 84%. Okay. <laughs> That was good. And then from there, I could go to like 90 some percent. And eventually get to full speed. And then you just gain territory. You know, I just did three bars and then maybe you can work on four bars and you slow it down. And then five bars and you slow it down and speed it up. And just you just gain one bar at a time. So that alone is a huge change in the way guitar is being played and taught and, and, and learned. Um, <clears throat> but that's just the beginning. I am a full-time guitar teacher, so, you know, I'm always teaching this stuff. Another aspect that I'll do, um, let's see, we'll get out of this just got paid and we'll go with the stairway to heaven. Let's, let's go to stairway to heaven. Oops, whoa, stairway to heaven backwards. I think that, like, has some kind of spiritual connotation. But, um, anyway, um, stairway to heaven. So here's the song. All right, cool. By the way, I just want to show you something. How do you download songs uh, and grab them as MP3s? You can go to this URL, youtube-mp3.org, and you just grab the URL right there, and I'm going to plunk it right into this thing. I'm going to right-click it and paste it in. I convert video and click download. And look down at the right. I'm in Chrome right now on a Mac, but it's downloading. I think it'll take a second because it's like an eight-minute song, but it looks like it's moving right along nicely. While that's downloading, okay, um, here's another thing I do. So I'll go to YouTube, and I'll type Stairway to Heaven. Stairway to Heaven. Uh, guitar solo. Guitar solo cover, I'll say. Let's say let's say you're a student and you're trying to learn the guitar solo to heaven. 
and I'll pull up the guitar solo cover. <laughs> So there's so much stuff like this on YouTube. Notice I'm finding something with a great sound, with a good camera angle. And it looks like this particular guy even has like another tutorial link available that we're not going to link out to at the moment. By the way, while I'm talking to you, I'm checking my, my uh, download is coming on nicely. I'll show you what to do with that in a second. So that was the guitar solo cover. Now let's get out of this Hillary Clinton thing. <laughs> And let's look here, Led Zeppelin, Stairway to Heaven, Guitar, Solo, Lesson. So now we have the cover, we have, now we're going to have a lesson. If you're learning guitar, I mean, you know, well, I'm a guitar teacher. I mean, people will sit down in my office and I'll have to learn a solo and teach it to them within 60 minutes. And so... I use all these tools. I've got Songster going. I've isolated things. I've got this actual song downloading and I usually email it to them. Um, I'll watch a cover of it done seamlessly. With a, and then this will be a tutorial with this render. I wonder if I'm on Wi-Fi. I'm on the hard line right now. This is a long video. It's taking a second to render. Okay, we're going to let that render. I'll worry about that when it pops up. Okay, so now I have the, the actual song, which you can... Pentatonic box one. This one's an A minor. There we go. Okay, so we have the actual song, which is downloading here. And then we have the tab, which is interactive and plays back for us, isolated, slowed down, and looped. So that's like killer, right? On top of that, we're going to have the video of the cover version done with a close-up angle. Then we can have another video of somebody explaining everything to us, like right here. Okay, and then we do a little bit up here in this little extent. I don't know if this is the best guy for this particular one. Um, just something I grabbed for the sake of this uh, tutorial video. Uh, so don't necessarily you know go to these specific people and and think that this is what I'm personally endorsing they may not be that good they may be great I don't really know anyway here's our download is completed do you see it right down here on the on the bottom left from here there's a few things I can do I downloaded it I can just email it to you BAM that's in my Gmail and watch that upload which I'm gonna click out of that or I can put it in my iTunes okay let me go to iTunes I'm going to just show you real quick. Here's my iTunes. I can just put it in a playlist like this. Boom. And where'd it go? Led Zeppelin, Stairway to Heaven with lyrics. That was the download I just did. You'll notice I have it already. Led Zeppelin, Stairway to Heaven, official music video with lyrics. So I'm going to delete that. I just put that in there just to show you how that works, okay? But you don't really have to. The, the reason I like downloading off YouTube is I know exactly what I'm getting. I'm not like bit torning something and hoping it's going to be the right thing. I know exactly what I'm getting before I download it. So like I said, you can use this URL, www.youtube slash mp3.org. Okay. Moving on. Um, so the Songster is really great. This is cloud-based tech, which I prefer. Um, Guitar Pro, like I said, I've been using Guitar Pro since it first came out over a decade ago, and uh, I've been very loyal to them. But Songster came out with uh, this technology, and I think UltimateGuitar.com, I think it's Ultimate slash Guitar.com, has the same technology also, where it plays it back to you. And a couple of my students has, have found a few others as well. So the competition is fierce, and this is where the future is going for guitar playing, which is, it's getting very interactive, which is great. 
Um, let's see. How about if I learn to play heart shaped box? Box. It's, what, I can't type anymore. Guitar tab. Okay. And notice this is an ultimate guitar.com tab. And we're here. Okay. Actually, let me backtrack. I don't want something with tabs. Let me get something with chords. Let's do like uh, Garth Brooks Rodeo. Garth Brooks Chords. Okay. And Ultimate Guitar comes up. Okay. So here we are. This is the Rodeo Chords. Okay. Well, his eyes is cold and restless. His wounds are almost healed. You may know the song. You may. I'm I'm 36 years old, so this is maybe something more. Not 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 everyone knows this stuff, but it doesn't matter if you know it or not. Let's say you're trying to learn a song with chords, and you went into Ultimate Guitar. If you hit this transpose button, let's say you learn to play it like the song. Let me just pull up the song. Okay, so we're gonna do Rodeo Garth Brooks official video. This should be it. Here we go. All right. All right, so here's the song. And then I pull up the, uh, where'd it go? Here we go. So let me just play the song. Obviously, I'm playing to the song. The song sounds kind of weird, like this particular video slowed it down or something. I don't know. But, oh, I think with YouTube, you can actually slow down a song, right? The speed is at normal. Interesting. Yeah, you can slow down a song. It's just getting crazy. The tech is bad. Is. Okay, quality is at 480. I want at least 720 there. That's probably why. Okay, so let's say you're learning to play and sing it and it's too low for you, okay? Or let's say it's a male vocal and you're a female and you want to sing it higher. Well, you just hit this button, transpose, and now I just clicked it a few times and I just moved it to the key of G. Or how about to the key of A minor? Texas, just to change the way he feels. So that's really cool. Very easy way of transposing music. You just click through this. This is ultimate-guitar.com. Also, you'll notice if you just hover over this blue, it gives you the chord. Hover over the blue, gives you the chord. Okay, hover over that B, gives you the chord. And of course, you go into here. And you click, well, let me do, okay, you can do variations. And that is a rabbit trail right there. But these are all the different ways that you can play a B chord, for instance. Okay, we'll X out of that. Uh, that's cool. I like Ultimate Guitar because it lets me print. Okay, I can just grab it. And I could pr hit print here. Um, or I, what I like to do is copy it and put it in a Google Doc. Oh, that was my Google Calendar. Sorry, guys. Google Doc. And um, I create a Google Doc. And then I just drop it in and I print that sucker. And from Google Doc, typically, if you're a student, I'll give it to you in bold. I hit the bold if I want. I'll move it up a few fonts. You know, I do whatever I want to do. You know what I'm saying? And then I print that sucker. You know? Um, that's a nice alternative. It's a nice option. 
Okay. Some songs I can't find the chords on Ultimate Guitar, and I have to go somewhere else. You know, I have to go to like E chords. Okay. And E chord sucks because they they don't let you. What is this stupid ad doing? Today only. Wow, this is really annoying. They just, oh, you're kidding. Well, they decided to put this ad here. I'll click into it and click out of it. And that's terrible. Maybe it's only that song. Let me pick a different song. Let's do that other one, Heart Shaped Box. Heart Shaped Box Chords. Let's see if they... Usually it doesn't have that ad there. Let's go to E. See, E Chords. What I like about E... Oh, they got this stupid ad today. How pathetic. And it's terrible. Okay, well, it won't let me move it. I think this is... Uh, this this isn't usually there. That's obviously they really want you to buy this thing and they stuck it right there. I don't think they meant to do it like that. Maybe they have to work on the tech. But usually that's not there, so I'm gonna to proceed to teach you as if it wasn't. I can just take a screenshot, okay, which um well, I'm on a Mac, so it's shift command four, and I'll just grab it like that and screenshot it, and then there it is. Now it's here, and from here, I could just control P, I print that sucker, and there. So that's a way that I use uh, E chords for free. Um, it's, it tends to be very accurate, but it's expensive. They make you pay a lot of money. And the good to do, they give you the chords like this. Also, they let you transpose with one click of a button like that, but then they try to harvest your... Um, your email login and make you a quote premium member make you pay so as a guitar teacher if I add, there are some songs I can only find on eChords I'll just screenshot and print it because I don't have a free account with them okay moving on um, I want to show you something really awesome this is called amazing slow downer and um, this is really cool I, I just bought this software for 49 um, 99 and it's awesome so what i'm gonna do is i'm trying to show i have multiple screens here folks but i'm gonna put everything in this one screen because it's the one i'm recording with you right now um let's say let's say i'm working on that song uh just got paid where'd it go just got paid by Joe with a J. Bonamassa. Here we go. Just got paid. So what I'll do is I'll I dumped it into Amazing Slow Downer. <laughs> Alright. So you see these things, this is speed is hundred percent, semitone, sense, and mix. So Q puts you where you're at in the song. And I have slow down type four. ST, volume max, these are some tactical things. You can just set it the way I set it. Um, but watch this. Let's say I'm developing this song and I click speed, or I can just actually just drag it. I can see, I put it at 67%. So that's pretty cool because I can do that to anything. So you imagine you, you can get really technical nuances like a guitar solo. Um, Well, I was hoping to just luck out and stumble on a complex passage there. But anyway, 
um, you can just do that to anywhere and put the speed wherever you want to put it and then you can just if you just right click it and you export that sucker save song as mp4 in mono and it just saves right to your desktop and then from there you click and drag and put it in an itunes folder um, or email it to yourself or whatever you want to do as a matter of fact i should have some slow down songs in in the queue uh, but i'm not gonna bore you with that at the moment let me show you another trick that i do um if i'm let's say i'm working on this 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 groove and so the groove is um you know um let's say it's just got paid and i go let's say in songster and here's the song okay. and then let it load Okay, that's taking forever, but it's worth it. Okay, so we have here's the song, sir. So that's that. Um, let's see. You can I use a I use a, actually a tap metronome inside of my iPhone app. It's called Pro Metronome. I'll type it out for you people. It's called Pro Metronome app. Okay. So get that on your phone. But uh, Metronome online. Maybe there's a one here. Okay, good. Da, 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 da. So that's where, okay, so how do you get a beat? This is really important. Um, let's go with, excuse me here. Let's go back to Just Got Paid, which is here. Okay. Right, now I'm going to click and tap that beat into this metronome website. This is a.bestmetronome.com. So watch. So it's saying 94, okay? So now it's giving me 94. So it clocked it at 94. Um, and here's how I like to use YouTube. I can just go 94 drum machine, okay? And there's the drum beat. I like these, oh, let me go back. I like these orange ones, folks. See, of all these things that say 94 I think some of this stuff is like 1994 right my time machine is full okay well we're gonna go with these orange ones so here's an example okay it has an eight count five six seven eight ready <laughs> That's how I use the drum machine. Now let's say, um, now what do I do personally? I'll actually take this, okay, copy the URL. I'll drop it into that YouTube link that I told you, which was youtube-mp3.org. I'll convert this video um, from audio and video to just audio takes a minute because it's 13 minutes long it's quite long it's taking a second but I'm eventually gonna download the video now I downloaded that video I'm just gonna go over here to show you what I did and if you look here I have all these downloaded rhythms from 40 BPMs BPM stands for beats per minute to roughly 
I did everything in a five BPM increment. So I have, I don't have 94, but I have 95. Okay. And here's our song. Now, if this is too fast, which I assume for, for a student it would be, let's say I bring it to 70. And I, we go in there. One, two, all right and that's how i do it why do i do it like this um i'll go to 70 and then have the student build the way up to 75 and then 80, then 85, and then eventually 90. Once they hit 95, which is the speed of the song, right? Then they should be able to play right in there with the actual song, okay? Um, I'm gonna cancel this download out. Okay, so why is that so important? It's so important because you need to be able to play not just you know not just to play the guitar with dexterity and not just to play the songs correctly you have to be able to play to the songs and that's really going to complete your guitar education and make make sense make make your guitar playing make sense it's going to allow you to seamlessly work with other people in bands if you can play um, not just play songs but play to the songs um, and that's really the huge change that i've noticed since like 2006 when Guitar Hero came out and Rock Band came out, all these people could interact with the guitar. And guitar used to be too hard to play. A lot of these rock songs were too hard to play, like Appetite for Destruction, you know, Guns N' Roses, uh, Welcome to the Jungle, or, you know, It's So Easy or whatever, or, uh, you know, Black Dog by Led Zeppelin. But these songs now, it's super easy to play with Guitar Hero because there's just like four buttons and people are interacting with these songs and then they're learning them thoroughly and then they're learning them on guitar. So it's kind of a controversial thing among guitar teachers of whether Guitar Hero is really good or bad, but I think it's good because I know that a lot of people got really excited about learning guitar when Guitar Hero came out. I know my phone was blown up like crazy. People wanted lessons and I would get like at least two phone calls a day. It says, my son is so crazy about Guitar Hero and you have to give them guitar lessons so that's fine um so um you know that what's so different about the way people are learning now is that they're playing and interacting with the actual song okay so just to go over what we're what i'm talking about here i'm using ultimateguitar.com to get chords and to automatically transpose I'm using E chords to get screenshots of songs that are obscure if I can't find them. I'm finding the tabs interactively on Songster and I'm playing back and slowing them down, printing them out, looping them and isolating them. I'm going into the uh, amazing Slowdowner software and I'm using that to slow and loop tracks and uh, get a clear, uh, be able to clearly, clear, uh, clearly hear uh, what guitarists are doing. I'm using youtube.com uh, slash uh, youtube-mp3.org YouTube to download the, the music and then I'll take that file and I'll stick it in my smartphone and just listen to it all day. If, if it, and then, then I'll go to YouTube and I'm looking at tutorials of how to play something Plus, I'm looking at guitar covers, and that's just a lot of stuff. I don't need to sit through a 15-minute tutorial. I can watch 30 seconds of a guitar cover and just watch by, just watch it and figure it out. So these are there's just so many different ways of learning. Of course, if you're learning online and if you're stuck, you can hire a Skype teacher. I offer Skype guitar lessons. I just got off a Skype call in New York actually, but I have students all around the world on Skype. And more and more people are finding that they want to learn guitar interactively on Skype as well as use all these different softwares and programs. Imagine if you're doing everything that I just said, plus you have a Skype teacher. Even if you're in a remote area and you have good internet, you know, even if you're, you know, somewhere in Honduras or Pakistan or Ecuador and there's no really great like American pro uh, musicians or a pro uh, pro guitar teachers around you that can really play in the style that you want to play let's say if it's american or british rock 
you can get on Skype and interact with some of the best people in the world. Um, okay, so I just want to make sure I covered everything. The other thing I want to say is, you know, I'm really excited about artists like John Mayer that is um, doing old blues songs and old like Hendrix rock and bringing it back. And a lot of uh, students these days, they come to me, they want to learn John Mayer songs. And then they're astonished to realize that it's actually a Jimi Hendrix tune or something like Bold is Love or Little Wing. And I just want to encourage you to, if you come across something like that, to, to don't just do the recreation, but do the original. You know, John Mayer is great because he's been recreating so many classic famous tunes in his own way. And it's making all these teenagers and 20-somethings and even 30-somethings um, really excited about music from the 60s and 70s. But don't just stop with John Mayer. Go back and listen and learn to the actual stuff by, you know, Jimi Hendrix or um, Albert King or B.B. King. Some of these greats, you know, that John Mayer loves to emulate. Um, because that's another huge trend that I've been seeing as a teacher. And I would just love to see you guys dig in and get into the real thing. So anyway, um, I just want to end this video with a little shot on my, uh, my face here. Usually I do actual uh, shots recording myself. But today I just did mostly a screenshot video. But uh, if you like this video, feel free to comment and like it and share. Subscribe. Um, I teach all the time on Instagram and Skype and YouTube. Hit me up, Dice Kimura. I would love to hear from you. And uh, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.